What's up Trinity Youth? Hope this video is finding you doing well. Uh, we are still in the middle of social distancing and uh, well we just got extended now through the end of April and so uh, I'm trying to just give you a word every week just a quick devotion and uh, today I want to talk to you about image and uh, you know we all are on social media and uh, sometimes it's easy to portray an image on social media right uh, we, we try to project our best self um, it's easy to post a picture and uh, base it off of how many likes you get on whether how uh, it was successful or if that was a successful part of you um, it's easy to cast an image on social media that others don't really get to see um, you know uh, sometimes as a parent, uh, we want to, me and Miss Lindsay, we want to take the best picture of Jolie and post the best picture. We got plenty of goofy pictures. We got plenty of pictures where she turns right at the, you got that perfect shot and then she turns like that last second and it, it, you missed it. You ruined it. She's not smiling anymore or whatever. Uh, you know, and those aren't always the images that get posted, but they are the reality. And, uh, and so we always like to put up these images, right? And we want to put our best self out there. We project our best self, and that's what we want to be noticed by, noticed for, or known for. And we want to shine our good qualities to hide our flaws, right? We, we're trying to push our good qualities ahead so that way our flaws are kind of overlooked. Nobody's really noticing our flaws. Uh, because they're so focused on the good qualities of us. And, and we're all guilty of this, right? I love what Torn Wells said. This is a quote by him. He said, The walls we use to protect our image are the same walls that imprison us with our pain. I'm going to read that again. The walls we use to protect our image are the same walls that imprison us with our pain. See, we're performing to be accepted so we don't feel rejected. We're performing to feel accepted. We're, we're putting the image out of, uh, of this champion. We're putting the image out uh, of all the good qualities because we're afraid of reje being rejected. We're afraid of rejection. We, we're putting up these walls to kind of sh shield our insecurities and shield the bad parts of us and the flaws just so people won't see that side of us. But that is the very thing that's keeping our pain stuck on the inside and I know some of you may be thinking well Pastor Thomas that's everybody that's just life and you know what you're right that is most people today most people are struggling struggling with their image most of them are afraid of being rejected but I want to talk to you about Jesus Jesus wasn't afraid to be rejected in fact he was rejected constantly right he'd perform miracles people would get healed uh, people would get saved people would just I, I mean God he would God Jesus would do incredible things and still people rejected him you know the demoniac legion I've talked about him many times uh, one of the greatest encounters with with God and the people come and they see what Jesus has done and they reject him and say, get away from us. We don't want you here. That's crazy to me, right? The same people that were crying Hosanna uh, as we celebrate Palm Sunday this Sunday, uh, the same people who were crying Hosanna were the same people a week later saying, crucify him, crucify him. He was rejected. Jesus knew rejection, but it didn't stop him. He didn't put up these walls. In fact, he was tempted by the devil in the very beginning, you know, to, to perform. That's what Satan was trying to get. If you are the son of God, do this. Perform for me. Show me. Prove to me that you are. Put up your best image. And Jesus would come back and say, but that's, this is what the Lord says. And he'd quote the scripture. And so, you know, Jesus was tempted, but he never gave in. He, was, he stayed true to who he was. He didn't care to be rejected. He wasn't scared of it. In fact, he just embraced it. And, and he knew that it was just part of it. But why was Jesus this way? It's because he knew he was God's son. Jesus knew whose he was. He knew he was 
the Son of God. He knew this, so he wasn't worried about being rejected by men. He wasn't worried about being rejected by people he, because he knew he was already chosen and known by God. He was, he was more focused on who he was known by than what he was known for. He was more focused, I'm going to repeat it, he was more focused on who he was known by than what he was known for. You are not loved based on your reputation. You are loved based on a relationship, and that relationship is with Jesus. You're not, no, you're not loved because of your reputation. You're not loved because of your performance. You're not loved because you've got that perfect angle Instagram picture that's got over a thousand likes. You're not uh, loved because you've got so many followers on Snapchat or Instagram or TikTok or whatever you're trying to get people to follow you and like you on. That's not why you're loved. And yet we mistaken that and try to act like that is how much we're loved. But really the focus should be on that we're loved by Jesus. We're loved by Him. We're known by Him. See, our mission statement is knowing Jesus and making Him known. How important is it for us to know Jesus? Because if I, this is just my belief, if we know Him and we know that we're known by Him, we don't need to perform. There is no performance in us. Our actions aren't trying to hide the flaws. Our actions are out of a gratefulness because of who, what Jesus has already done for us. I'm going to leave you with a scripture. Romans chapter 5 verse 6 through 8 says this, When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though some might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending, by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Before you could perform in your lowest state, Jesus died for you because he wanted to be known by you. Not because of some uh, works, not because of the actions you do, not because of your reputation, not because of how many followers you have, but simply because he wants to know you. He wants to be known by you. He wants you to know him. He wants a relationship with you. Your image is not, should not be based on uh, the good qualities that you're trying to present, but it should be by who you are known by, and that is Jesus. So I want to challenge you it, during this, uh, this quarantine time, this self-distancing time, to grow in your relationship with God. Pick up this Bible and read it every day. Pray every day. Get to know Jesus better. Know him. Highlight your Bible. Underline it. Circle things that jump out at you. Star. Put stars. Do whatever it is that, that works for you in your Bible. Get to know him. Get to know him through his word. Get to know him through prayer. Get to know him through worship. It's about being known by him. And I'll leave you with this. You don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to hide behind the perfect picture. You don't have to hide behind the funny video. Just be vulnerable with Jesus. Be vulnerable with him. Be real with him. You know, we're in a time of where there's worry and fear and anxiety and stress and all these things. You're trying to learn how to do school at home. I'm sure that that comes with its own struggles. Don't wear a mask. Be vulnerable. Be real with him. You know, don't act like everything's going good. I think that's one of our biggest flaws as a human race is I can't tell you how many times we walk up to people and say, hey, how are you? And our natural re response is, good, good, how are you? Or great, how are you? Or I'm blessed by the best, brother, how are you? Right? And we just, we constantly give this automatic good, but really on the inside we know everything is not good. You know, we put up this image. Let that image fall. Be vulnerable with God. Be vulnerable with Jesus. Be vulnerable with other people. Right? What if somebody said, hey, how are you? And you just got really vulnerable and said, man, listen, I really need prayer right now because I'm just going through some stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being vulnerable. Your image doesn't matter. But who you're known by does. We love you. And I hope you're doing well. 
and uh, can't wait to meet again hopefully in a month we'll just time will tell right uh, but we love you guys and uh, we'll see you next week in the next video